Hey guys, BioLizard1 here, and today you're getting a brand new Wi Fi battle. But my surprise for you guys is this is not a random Wi Fi battle of myself, but this is a battle coming from a good friend of mine, also a great YouTuber, Little Relapse. The link to his channel will be in both video description and as a link in the video itself, so be sure to check him out. From now on, I'm going to do some guest narrations, which means that you can all send your battles if they have decent quality and you say, like, hey, I want BioLizard to narrate this thing, then it's cool, just send me the battle, PM the link to me, and I'll download it. Just upload it to your channel as unlisted. I'll come to your channel and download it with YouTube Downloader, and I'll narrate over it for you. So yeah, if you if you have a battle for me, then be sure to leave it as soon as possible. I'm probably going to do one or two guest narrations per week. So yeah, um, just submit your battles, and maybe you'll see all these sexy voice narrating over your video. So see you guys, and enjoy the video. So this was a battle between Little Relapse and Sebi, at least that's the title of the person who battled him that he told me he did. So he's going to start off with a Shedinja while his opponent starts off with, um, what's that called? What's that thing actually called? Frostless, I think. And uh, yeah, Shedinja immediately went for the Shadow Sneak and that did a ton of damage for a Pokemon that only has one hit point. But then, um, yeah, the guy know that he has to switch out eventually, otherwise his Pokemon will be Shadow Sneak to death. So he's going to switch out and Togekiss comes out and then he predicts a nice double switch by going into a Zatu because Zatu has the mag mag magic bounce and that is going to switch his confusion all around. Then it's another switch into Flygon. Flygon gets toxic and then he's going to switch out, Little Relapse is going to switch out into Shedinja making an excellent play because that way Shedinja is going to dodge every attack coming from this um, Flygon. And uh, yeah, things are not are looking pretty good for him. A uh, little relapse has been predicting a lot so far this game. And uh, yeah, unfortunately now Shedinja is going to lose the, lose the Focus Sash because of an Air Slash coming from this Togekiss. And uh, at first sight you can't really say what kind of Togekiss this is. But uh, yeah, it just switches out to Xado because Xado is probably his special defensive wall. And it decides to Toxic again, maybe having something else to come out except for his Empoleon. But obviously Empoleon has, uh, is going to dodge the toxic because it's steel and Empoleon is carrying the balloon and therefore he goes for nightshade so that he can um, like uh, come in with a different Pokemon and revenge kill this Empoleon with an earthquake at least that is what I would do and uh, yeah Empoleon keeps going for the ice beam here so no point in going for substitute because he doesn't have Pattaya Berry anyway then he switches out into his uh, Hitmonchan goes for a drain punch unfortunately for a little relapse his opponent predicts that and switches out into Oxy Oxy being both physical, defensive and psychic is going to take all uh, fighting type moves coming from this Hitmonchan with relative ease. While he decides to switch back into Shedinja, uh, Shedinja is going to get off an X Scissor and that actually does a lot, um, but not quite enough because yeah, it's an Oxy and Oxys are like awesome, awesome Pokemon when it comes to the defensive side. So here comes Togekiss again floating in the air saying choo! And Togekiss is just being there, and then Arcanine comes in, and Arcanine's like, Hey, dude, what the hell? What the hell are you doing there? And he goes through a wild charge, and unfortunately, wild charge is not going to be enough to finish him off, and that will allow Togekiss to get off his nasty plan. Togekiss is going to go for a Thunder Wave, and then going to go for an Air Slash, and with the Serene Grace, Air Slash has a 60% of flinching, while that Paralyzation has 25% chance of being paralyzed. So that means like this Arcanine is not going to do anything in like a week or so because it's yeah it's, it's being killed by this Togekiss but uh, he switches into Nidoking now Nidoking is scarfed probably uh, and he can easily come in with this new ability uh, Sheer Force his uh, Thunderbolts are going to do a massive amount of damage now that we saw that his Nidoking is not scarfed because otherwise he would have outsped this Frostless Frostless outspeeds him goes for uh, Destiny Bond and Destiny Bond allows him to um, kill the Pokemon that finished off Frostless which is kind of unfortunate for a little relapse but hey that's just how things go. Then um, this double switch, I mean not double switch, the double KO doesn't really work out well for him for a little relapse because he has a Milotic, that different dude. And Milotic has access to the skull, so that basically means that Hitmonchan cannot stay in. 
because a burned Hitmonchan is like a bad Hitmonchan, if you know what I mean. And uh, yeah, this is kind of going to be a Star Wars between, um, between what's it called, Dusclops and... Um, and Milotic, because Milotic has access to the Recover and can recover all day when he doesn't get taunted. And yeah, Dusclops is basically an Ev Eviolite Pokemon, one of the best Eviolite users there is in the metagame, next to Chansey probably. But uh, yeah, on the offensive side, it can't really do a thing. It just sits there and walls. And um, Little Relapse just has to hope that Taunt doesn't wear off really fast because if it does wear off, then Amilotic is going to be able to go for a recover and uh, yeah, just recover up all the damage that um, uh, Dusk, Dusk Noir did to him or Dusk Clubs better. So, like I said before, this is going to be kind of stally, but. We don't matter because Little Relapse is awesome, so he's probably going to do something. He's going to switch out into Hitman Chan right now, but uh, yeah, burning that Milotic wouldn't have been the best thing that he could do because, due to the Marvel scale ability, Milotic's defense is going to be raised by 50%, which isn't good, but um, yeah, if, if you think about it, he went for. Um, he, he went into Hitman Chan so that Milotic would go for a Toxic, which means that Hitman Chan at this point of the match, cannot be burned anymore, and that is just fabulous. That was actually a good a good play, but uh, now he has the downside that his, his Monchan won't be sweeping, because, yeah, if the toxic damage racks up, then he's going to lose his hit Monchan eventually. So, yeah, it's, it's like choosing between two things you like, and then, yeah, choosing for the thing you less like, I guess, but... Uh, yeah, now Hitmonchan is going to go for a Mach Punch, but yeah, oh, I thought that wouldn't be able to finish him off, but it did, so that's awesome, good game, real, little relapse, yeah, never mind. Um, so, now there's a Dragonfly comes in, Dragonfly, Flygon, you get it, awesome nickname, awesome nickname. And uh, he decides to go for an Ice Punch, Ice Punch, like I said before, Yuxi is probably the best defensive wall next to the Oxys D in the underused metagame. So that's not going to do a thing to him. And um, then Dusclop comes in again uh, while Uxie goes for a Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt is not going to harm Dusclops at all all because dust clubs like i said is probably one of the best if final light users in the game and uh yeah this is going to be a second star wars in this game <laughs> which is kind of unfortunate for me because i don't like to narrate those but hey hey we love little relapse keep that in mind if i guess narrate your battles then i'm gonna spray the love as well but uh <laughs> so yeah, here is uh, Dusclops, um, Dusclops is just being there, going for the will wisp getting some Thunderbolts right in the face, but it's doing like 11 damage. And yeah, he goes for a Nightshade, and that is one dead Oxy, lost Pokemon off is Toady Flygon, I mean Flygon. Flygon is going to Outrage, and that is a dead guy. So that was a good battle, I hope you guys enjoyed this guest narration as well. Uh, this was my first guest narration in a while, because I used to do some dual narrations with Mephistopheles, but nonetheless I enjoyed. I hope you guys enjoyed as well. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. If you have a battle you want to share with me, you want me to guest narrate, then upload it as unlisted to your channel and um, send me the link in a personal message and yeah, I'll, get, I'll respond to you as soon as possible and upload it to my channel. So see you guys next time. Peace.